So if you understand how the bond market works and you entered into the bond market and you bought into TLT right at the bottom, you are up close to 23%. Now I didn't get in at the bottom and I don't think everyone managed to get in at the bottom as well. I got in at $89 and so at $89, once you factor in dividends, I am up about 15-ish percent. Now I think the big question right now is, is it too late to enter into the play? Before we can answer that, we need to take a look at why TLT is even going up in the first place. So the TLT is the iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF, which means they hold treasury yields that are 20 plus years and above. And that means that whenever interest rates fall, this ETF will go up. Bond prices and interest rates have an inverse correlation. That means when interest rates are getting cut, we can expect bond prices to go up. Let's say you buy a 10-year bond for $100 and it's going to give you 10% each year. At the end of 10 years, you would collect 10 times 10, which is $100, plus your initial capital of $100. That's going to give you $200, right? So the value of the bond is $200. Now imagine interest rates gets cut down to 5%. It means if you were to buy that same bond only yielding 5%, for 10 years, you will only get back 5 times 10, which is $50 plus the initial bond price, which is $100, and you will only get $150 in the next 10 years. Therefore, there is a $50 difference in the bonds. And so when you're going to resell these bonds into the open market, the bond giving you $200 in 10 years is going to be worth more than the $150 one. So that's what's going on right here. Interest rates are getting cut, and therefore we can expect bond prices to go up. But again, prices are not fixed, it fluctuates. So it kind of depends on investors as well and how they are feeling. But right now, what we can see is from the peak, we have fallen all the way down 50%. We can expect something very similar. So in theory, because this is 20 plus years ET, every 1% decrease in interest rates, we can expect about a 20% upside. Now, this is very generic, it's plus minus 5% here and there, but it, it's kind of holding true right now. So coming from the most recent bottom around 22nd of April, we can see that prices are right now hovering around 12% up from the bottom, which is very close to when I got in because interest rates will cut by 0.5%. So we can see there's that correlation going on. And so when interest rates get cut even further, we can potentially see from the 22nd of April, let's say it cuts all the way back down close to zero, we can see a potential 90 to 100% upside. Now that's a lot, but let's say you didn't get in, right? Let's say we're trying to enter the market now. Is it still worth it? Well, let's take a look. So if we enter today, our downside, assuming that interest rates actually goes up again for whatever reason, we have about a 17% downside. Now, 17 is no small number, but what are the chances of that happening? Very low. Let's say interest rates stagnate, we can potentially see maybe about a 5 to 10% downside. I think that's very reasonable. But what about the upside? Let's do best case scenario. We still have about a 70% upside. If interest rates were to, for whatever reason, cut to zero, we may be able to get that 70% upside. But let's say a little bit more realistic, right? And, and let's say nothing major happens. Inflation is tamed interest rates gets cut down slowly, another 2-3%. We are still looking at a 40-50% to 50 upside. And so what is the risk to reward here? It's about 1 is to 5. Now let's say something really really bad happens and unemployment rises like crazy, interest rates gets cut to zero. If that were to happen, we will be up about 70%. Now what happens if interest rates just hold? then we will probably stagnate around this price and maybe drop another 5%. Worst case scenario, they push interest rates back up to even higher, 6%. How far can we go? We are looking at about a 20 to 30% downside. So the risk to reward ratio for this play is very good. It's not meant for everyone and I hope that when you watch this here, the number 50%, 70% upside, that you're not going to go all in and buy TLT and realize that it's moving really, really slowly. 15% in two years is not a miraculous growth. You do not get into the TLT play expecting huge exponential growth. You want that go equities, go all in into a singular stock, you will probably make a lot more, but the risk is there. And I am a little bit more risk averse at the moment. I am trying to save up to buy a house. So I need that level of stability. So this TLT play isn't for everyone. It is a strategy that I am using to limit my downside while still having a lot of upside. Now in the next four to five, six years, it may take four to five years to play out, but I know that my downside is pretty much intact always looking for good risk to reward ratio when it comes to my investments and at least that's a strategy that i'm employing right now so i hope you found value in this video i just wanted to share what i'm doing and since i'm making money from it i hope you guys can make money from it as well none of this is scripted i'm just talking to you like 
I'm talking to a friend, if someone would ask me, hey, should I get into TLT now? Summary, it's not too late to enter. It's a very good risk to reward ratio, but don't expect this to go up in the next like two months, three months, four months. We are looking at a multi-year play. And when you look at the multi-year play, if it takes seven years to go up 70%, that means I want to gain 10% a year, which isn't a lot. But remember that my downside is protected. So don't expect fast growth from this, but this is a very good risk to reward ratio play. We are not financial gurus. I'm just a guy on the internet doing his own research and is just very excited to share what he has learned on the internet. I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos too. Cheers.